All right, here I am at the Novato Cars and Coffee, and it's uh, November, November 3rd of 2024. It's pretty chilly out here for a, uh, for a Northern California morning. Uh, there's a lot of cars. I'm going to select a few and do a short video on just those few. Uh, because it is kind of chilly out here and I'm getting kind of cold. So uh, here we go. All right, here we are at Cars and Coffee and we've got a Lincoln, beautiful Lincoln. I like these old cars. These are my favorite. Beautiful old Lincoln limousine. Very, very nice vehicle here. Very nice. Look at that. You know, there was a guy in Richmond that used to have to take a little bit of the bourbon. Yeah, no, I'm not. She, and she's the house on. Okay, this is a Morris 8. I'm not sure I've ever seen a Morris 8 before, but this is a Morris 8. That very sparse interior. Interesting bucket seats. Very interesting vehicle. Okay, now there's a Tim. It's another vehicle I don't believe I've ever seen. This one's been here before, but I still love it. 1954 Mercedes 220 Cabriolet. That is really, really in good shape. There's the interior of that 220 Cabriolet. The suicide door says there was only 990 of them made. That's very interesting. That car is in remarkably good shape. It's been restored, obviously. Here is a very nice Packard. I don't know what year that is. Wow. This must, I'm going to guess it's from the 1950s. Look at those curb feelers on there, huh? Remember those? Wow. Yeah, that's a nice, nicely maintained Packard. We got a Mercedes. Looks like a 190 SO. We got a early 1950s Ford Thunderbird, could be a 56 or 57, got a nice big Cadillac Coupe de Ville, it's all lowered, Cadillac limousine, look at that, wow, that is quite a vehicle. Cadillac Limousine. Look at that trunk. A Triumph TR4A with independent rear suspension. Very, very well maintained. Probably restored. But that's a very, very nice TR fit. Yeah. All right. A couple of Ford hot rods here. This one is for sale for $45,000. Right. 
1932 beautifully restored Chevy Nomad 1957 Chevy Nomad look at that interior a classic I believe this is also a 32, but I'm not sure. This is a Resto Mod. It's been modified, but very, very beautiful car. Very good restoration done on that one. Speaking of Fords, I love the... I only have one white one. Oh, yeah. 1934 Ford Tudor. Very, very bright yellow paint. That's really a cool looking car. It's like a 1960 Chevrolet. Impala two door. Look at that. We've got a puppy inside there. It's not going to overheat on a day like this, I don't think. That is. I don't know if that, it's been painted, but I'm not sure if it's been fully restored, but it's a very, very nicely done. Chevy Impala, the Morgan. got the highway patrol uh, here. I imagine they're recruiting people. There's an old Ford Mustang highway patrol car with a canine in it. And a much more modern vehicle. And that's a highway patrol Camaro over there. This is a lunch. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Nice launch here that has not been uh, restored. We've got a 1956 Chevy Bel Air four door. We've got lake pipes down there on the side, side exhaust. And there's that interior. I remember that. Very, very well. And here we've got an MGB. Another one of my favorite cars, along with the Triumph TR4s. Well, pretty much all the Triumph TRs series, the TRCs. There's the cockpit of the MGB, set up for rallying or racing with its roll bar that brave so and this has been here before or at uh, i think i also saw it at the bon air show this is a chevy tow truck 
converted, I believe. I don't know what that was like when it was original, but that's what it looks like now. There's a C8 with the scissor doors, the first one I've ever actually seen live in person. Interesting. Uh, probably has some distinct advantage as far as parking is concerned. I love the color. It looks like it's got a 3LT interior. That would have definitely been a color I would have gone for. I believe that's the red tint coat. I like that uh, license plate frame. Ferrari 430 here, I believe. Yep, a 430. We've got a Chrysler 300 C here that has been restored. Very, very good condition. Look at that. That's a beautiful interior of that Chrysler. Two-door Chrysler. 300 D. I thought it was a C, but it's a D. C2 Corvette right next door. That is uh, in original condition. It's a four speed. Looks like it's a 327 engine in there. A Plymouth Special Deluxe. Massive side view mirrors. <laughs> About the size of a silver dollar. And there's the beautiful interior of this car. The upholstery looks fabulous. Look at the size of that back seat. And this car has got a 19. 47 license plate on it. I don't know if that's the original license plate, but that probably indicates that this is a 1947 Plymouth. Got an Oldsmobile 442 convertible. Very unusual, but probably stock, not stock paint, but probably an original color. This is the Oldsmobile 442 convertibles. It's got an automatic. Looks like the paint has been redone and the upholstery has been redone. Full of Porsche Speedsters. There's a 1600 Super. 1957, it says, according to the license plate. 1957. And that is a very, very sparse interior of that Porsche. And, and next to it is another 1600 Super, also 1957. Really nice car, also. Yeah. And that's the interior of that. Yeah. I, I, I go there most of the park. 1968 Volkswagen bus. Very, very well known in those days. I don't know if they've stood the test of time.
that's about it for today. Uh, found quite a few cars that I found very interesting and of course there's a lot more cars out here that are really nice cars just not that interested me and it's kind of cold so I think I'm going to go home and make some coffee and uh, warm up.